This video will show you how to perform a multiple 2D contour operation in Autodesk Fusion. Here we have already set up uh, appearance for surfaces that are going to act upon our different contours. Red means that the end mill is going to be machining and yellow are the different levels that we have going on. We're going to start off first by creating a setup. The stock box point should be the bottom left portion of the box and verifying that our Z, Y, and X axis is set up correctly. I'm going to move to the stock tab. Relative size box with no additional stock should be selected. And for a post process, we can give this a name. Uh, the last name underscore multiple 2D contour. Select OK. With the setup defined, we're going to select under 2D the 2D contour. Selecting our tool, we will use the half inch end mill. And we will move to the geometry tab. We'll select the outside contour of the first level and then move to the heights tab. Verifying stock top and selected contours are selected. Select the passes tab. Go down to multiple depths and change the maximum roughing step down to 0.25. Verify that stock to leave is unchecked. Select the OK button. Simulate contour. And notice that the four corners of the stock are left in the operation. We can fix this by selecting Exit Simulation. And by right clicking on the operation that we just created and selecting Edit. Move to the Passes tab and scroll down until we find stock to leave. Uncheck stock to leave and change radial stock to leave to 0.25. Change the axial stock to leave, which would be the bottom of our end mill, to zero. Select OK. Simulate the toolpath. Notice how the outside of the stock is removed as we are leaving 0.25 radius from where this is. So when we look at this particular operation, we're leaving a, a quarter inch radius from our selected contour out to the rounded edge. This pushed us out far enough where we were able to, able to now cut into and remove a lot of the stock. So now let's create a second contour to remove and, and uh, take away that stock to leave. Right click on the previous 2D contour and select duplicate. In this particular contour, right click, select edit, move to the passes tab, and uncheck the stock to leave option. Select OK. Right click on setup 2 and select simulate to see the sequence. The outside edge is run first and then the second contour comes in to clean up the first level. Select exit simulation. We're going to run another 2D contour. The same half inch end mill is going to be used. On the geometry we'll click, click the bottom of the lowest level. For the Heights tab, we will Collapse Clearance, Retract, and Feed Height. For the Top Height, we're going to choose Selection. And we will choose the bottom of the first level. For the Bottom Height, we'll choose Selection. And we'll choose the very deepest level that we have set up here. On the Passes tab, we'll verify multiple depths. And set this to 0.25 for the maximum roughing step down. 
ensure stock to leave is unchecked. Select OK. Click on Setup and run the simulation. Verify the toolpath. And ensure our second level is correct. Select Exit Simulation and make sure to save your model.